Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In this session, we are going to learn how to test whether a data is normally distributed or not. And this we require many a times because the distribution is the basis to apply a specific statistical test. T-test, ANOVA are applied. These are parametric tests and these parametric tests are applied to normally distributed data. There are two types of methods. One uh, type is graphical method where we see the graph and from the graph we can uh, guess whether the data is normally distributed or not. And other is statistical tests and those statistical tests most commonly used are Shapiro-Wilk test and uh, Kolmogorov-Smirnov test. Let's know about the data which we are going to use and in this session we are going to use the woman data set. We will see the woman data set and this is the bundle data set with R. Head woman will show us first six rows of the data and the first variable height and weight this appears to be numeric will confirm that using the str function and I have to work in the script so that I can uh, save that for my further work that str woman I will run and here you can see that the height is numeric variable and weight is numeric variable. Okay. Now, we will see whether the numeric variable UMA uh, height is normally distributed or not and weight is also normally distributed or not. For that, we will see the graphical method first, graphs and the first graph which we can have, we can see the distribution of these points on the uh, plot and this is very gross method, women scalar height will run that and we will see the points and these points are just increasing with their index because these are ascendingly ordered. Okay. Uh, this method is not good to see whether the uh, data is normally distributed or not. We can have box plot also box plot of women scalar height and we'll see the box plot. If you see the box plot, you can see that uh, these two quantiles, uh, that interquartile inter uh, range or quantile range, these are perfectly symmetric. Okay. You can have symmetric distribution towards the upper side of that box and towards the lower side of that box also. This is also a good indication that the uh, data is normally distributed or not because mean and median will be equal to each other and this is the case for normal distribution if the data is normally distributed it follows a symmetric curve where equal number of values are there on the lower side and equal number of values are there on the higher, higher side okay. box plot also shows that we'll see the density plot also and density plot is the uh, best one for that and we have to plot density this function will calculate density we have embedded density function in the plot function. First it will calculate density and then it will calculate the, uh, it will uh, plot that density values. We will run that and uh, you can see that a good amount of symmetry is there. Okay. Therefore we can assume here with uh, little good confidence, it's a, a little gross confidence also, that the data is normally distributed. This is one method, graphical method, to see whether the data is normally distributed or not. One is box plot. If in box plot, if you see uh, the symmetric distribution around the median, then you can see that median and mean both are equal and that's the test that the data is normally distributed. Okay. But again, our confidence is not that much okay, because it's a graphical representation. When we plot the density, we see the uh, normally distributed or symmetric curve then this is a good indication that data is normally distributed but many a times these graphical methods are also not sufficient we'll see the another method i forgot about that that is qq norm qq norm and we'll provide the variable again and run that we see the did a li linear these points are there as line and uh, those are around that zero value. Okay. If this uh, we plot a diagonal line through this, then we will get 
that most of those points are on this diagonal line. If your points are there on this diagonal line, then uh, you are sure that your data is normally distributed. Okay. Uh, we'll see this a little more also. Uh, we are going to use the functions from ggplot for that. Therefore, I am calling the library ggplot2. And there I will uh, type ggplot function. The data is coming from women. And this time I will use the only one that height because we want to check for that. And below that women data and that aesthetic. This height shall be there in AES aesthetic function. Below that we will have geom qq this and we will learn that will uh, run that and what it is say problem occurred computer requires the following missing sample we'll uh, learn a little more about geom qq how to geom qq and run that here help is there stat qq is also there geom qq is also there and it require the data geom qq line stat qq line geom qq again mapping we'll see the examples to be more clear about this sample is equal to we have to apply the name sample here sample is equal to and we'll run that okay. and we can see here Along with that, we can have the geom QQ line also. QQ line to have the QQ line. It will run that. And now you can see that most of those points are there on these lines. Okay. If we use this QQ plot to show, then uh, that those points are there on the line, then it's a good indication the data is normally distributed. Now, will start there are many other functions also available in other packages to plot these QQ plots okay. will not learn those in this session will go directly to the using statistical tests and the first test is Shapiro Wilk test and for this test null hypothesis is is data is normally distributed this is little confusing uh, positive null hypothesis okay we will rephrase it or there is no significant difference in normally distributed data and the data used as sample in very gross terms this null hypothesis is there that there is no difference in the distribution of our sample and distribu normal distribution okay. and there very simple syntax is there that Shapiro dot test and there we'll have to provide this variable numeric variable to be tested and we'll run that and here you can see that it's a Shapiro Wilk normality test, a very good test actually, but it takes around a limited number of uh, limited size of the sample. But that is around thousands. That women seller height is the data, and that Shapiro Wilk statistics is 0 0.96 and p value is 0 0.75. And this states that we have to accept the null hypothesis that there is no difference in normal distribution and distribution of our data. This is that our data is normally distributed. We will go to KS test that Kolmogorov Smirnov test KS dot test and this is if you want to learn more about this test then we will put the question mark and we will run that and here you have the ex, uh, example of that okay. and uh, that explanation of that you, you, you can go to examples also and here those examples are there. We'll apply the test to our data now. KS dot test and in bracket we'll have to put our data 
this is the data which we want to test whether normally distributed or not and this time in inverted quote will tell the name of the distribution also p norm for normally distributed data we, we can test other distributions also using the ks dot test we'll run that and here you can see the p value is very small because null hypothesis k of ks test is the uh, i will put that null hypothesis is here that h0 is the data is not normally distributed okay. and we have to reject this null hypothesis now because p value is very small and we conclude here that our data is normally distributed okay. these two tests are very commonly used because we get that p value also to support our result support our conclusion this is all about how to test whether the data is normally distributed or not now i told you that we'll see whether the uh, what is the limit of that shapiro wilk test i will prepare a r norm prepare a variable simulate that variable using r norm function then go for sample size 10000 we'll run that and we'll apply shapiro wilk test to this shapiro dot test a run that and it is said that it can take values sample size must be 3 to 5000 that is the limitation of shapiro dot test okay. but this limitation may not be there to ks dot test we'll use this i'll bring that here instead of woman height i'm going to use a there and we'll run that okay. and here that 0 0.3936 is there and this kolmogorov test is saying that our data is uh, not normally distributed even if we have simulated that using our norm case test has a little less power as compared to shapiro dot test shapiro dot test is specifically designed for to test normality whether the normal distributed data is there or not therefore it's my recommendation it's my suggestion not recommendation my suggestion to use the Shapiro dot test to test the normality. Here I will show you that QQ plot also for this. This GG plot will use and how the QQ plot of perfectly normally distributed data looks like. Okay. We'll use here that sample is equal to A and this time we have to add dot data. frame and we put a there and we'll run that this shall work data dot frame I forgot we'll run that and it's calculating i think and you can see that most of those data points are there on this diagonal line therefore we have to accept that the data is normally distributed and we have already proved that using the shapiro dot test this is how you can test whether your data is normally distributed or not. And when you are sure that your data is normally distributed, then only you can apply parametric tests to your data. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked this video, please click the like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet.